Uh, Danny, you need to have. I did, you you heard about the topic today, right? That's why you brought up that stuff yeah. for. Yeah. Uh, what's up and about? Because it's very very related to what we're doing today. Miracle Ihoma is always a pleasure having him in the house. It's great to have you. You are welcome. Yeah, and today we're talking insecurity in relationships, right? Yeah. Or in marriage, <laughs> marriage yeah. relationships, all of that. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Well, let before I go into what I want to share with you, what what is your definition? What is insecurity in a marriage or a relationship? Okay, insecurity um, basically is um, that feeling of um, that feeling that um, your partner is that feeling that but that you know, I'm, I'm trying to yeah of in inadequacy mm -hmm. based on actions of your partner mm. yeah. And that are ordinarily not supposed to make you feel that way. That's way. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. when you feel like okay, you are not adequate, or there's something your partner is doing that is actually elic elicits certain emotions like anxiety from the inside of you, right? Um, those are yeah, I mean, that's insecurity. Mm. And uh, how does this creep in? Is this something that you can see from the beginning of a relationship, or is it something that comes as time yeah. goes? How can you spot insecurity? Yes, so there are, there are obvious signs of insecurity. If it's somebody who's insecure, you most likely um, know, right? Um, the signs include things like overprotectiveness, when somebody wants to protect you. In fact, sometimes insecurity would look like love, <coughs> but mm. if you take a closer look, you would see that it's insecurity. Mm. So for instance, an insecure partner is one who wants to control you. Manipulate. Who wants to manipulate you. Who would make you feel like, okay, he or she might even want to cut you away from significant relationships in your mm. life and make you feel like you are not you should spend more, a lot of time with them and them alone right so we have things like even gaslighting you know distrust um, they don't trust your words they don't trust your actions unusual suspicion when they are suspecting that okay there's something going on with platonic relationships in your life and things like that you know these are some of the signs of insecurity and it's something that you would obviously see um, in a person who's insecure all right, let me, let me uh, read this case study, something we spoke about earlier on today, and this one is one major area where insecurity shows finance, uh, right, uh, about a lady who had to resign because her husband was jealous. She got a car from her job and um, until she gave him the keys. Mm. She was making money, making commissions and all of that, and he was not happy at the end. She had to resign. Mm. All, all of this. And uh, she resigned, and you see, in this kind of particular scenario, you're already in it. This is a marriage. How, what can she do? She had to resign. So that means that, who knows if that was her dream job or something she would love to do and all of that. So exactly. she had to let go of that kind of thing because of insecurity from the man. I mean, I, I know we men want to be providers most of the time, but things are changing, you know. There's a lot of participation now, partnership. That is what a marriage should be. Yeah. But in this kind of case or in this kind of scenario, how... I don't know, what, what does she do? Well, in this particular case, um, she needs to, one way or the other, look for a way to let him identify that there's a problem here. Because if he doesn't identify that there's a problem, there's nothing more that can be done. I, I, that's the thing. He yes. gave her, she got the car and gave him the keys, and that's when he calmed down. So that's, that is a classic case of insecurity at that particular yes. point in time. He wants yes. to be on top. I, 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 I don't know. I, 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 I feel sorry for her because, man, this one, how do you tell that kind of... This is somebody that I'm probably sure, maybe from his upbringing, that been stuck in that mindset of, exactly. you know, having to be in this kind of situation. Is there any way one can see this kind of signs before a marriage and, this, and you know, maybe dodge the bullet, as it were, in, that, in, this, in this particular scenario? Yeah, of course. You, you can. You can. And that's why it's, it's very important that you take the dating and the courtship uh, period very seriously mm. because these are things that you're supposed to have known and mm. deciphered and yeah and those moments you know because i feel like if, you, if we sit her down this lady and talk to her there should have been some telltale signs exactly it, it wouldn't just come out exactly. of the blues not something exactly. like, even while you were dating you'd have seen some signs that let you signs. know that this yeah. person financially he would want to, yeah, he, add, wants to and, he wants to control he wants to be in charge like i said some of these things look like love for instance if a man is telling you in a premarital relationship, that's don't worry, you don't need to work, I'll provide all that you need. Now it looks like, okay, this is a caring man, 
But underneath that can be an insecure man. So you need to probe further and ask certain questions hmm. to say, okay, would you allow me work? You know, what if I, I begin to earn more than you? In exactly. my, how, would oh, you feel? how would you feel? And those questions will elicit, you know, hmm. the deepest um, um, thoughts about those kind of um, situations. Yeah. That will help you know, okay, if this man is insecure. Is this, because look, I don't know, if uh, finally on this kind of scenario, what do you, what, what can be done? Because I, 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 it's not, for me, talking alone, man, will not, he, this kind of man, Baba, <laughs> talking will not, especially when it comes from her. Mm. If it comes from maybe from somebody, somebody maybe he respects, or maybe his elder, his father, or something, but those kind of people might have been the ones that actually brought him up that way. Yeah. So it, it, it's, it's really quite, I don't know, what, yeah. what in this kind of situation, what can, what can she do? What can she really do? Mm. So, so just like you, you made a very silent, silent point, and that's the fact that you need to look for someone in his life that he listens to. And that's why you can't afford to get married to a man, a woman alike, who doesn't have anybody that they listen to. Because these are moments where you will need those people in your lives. Mm. Because if you have somebody he listens to, then you can escalate and say, this is the situation. And of course, the, if they have, the voice of reason should prevail in that situation where they now get to talk to the man and tell him, you know what, what you have done here is wrong. Mm. And you might just have a problem you need to deal with. Mm. Because that can be a blind spot, you know, for the man. He might not know that he has this issue of his security. He might feel like he's just exercising his right as a husband or as the man of the home. Because society encourages this to a, to a very large yeah, extent. To do, Make you feel do. like, okay, as the man, you, if to provide, you, you, are, you are superior to your wife. To the wife, exactly. Like your wife is inferior to you. And mm. since you are superior to your wife, you're supposed to be the one who earns more, the one who, prov who is the provider. And once there's anything short of that, you are less of a man. A man. Right? So those are things that you really want to watch out for. Who? Uh, it's 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 uh, quite a lot of questions come out from all of this, and like you said, these are things that you can watch out for. But one thing, I, like I mentioned during that time, at times during culture, people put their best foot forward, and they do as much as possible to hide their true self. Mm -hmm. That's why we've had situations that are ah, this person I got married to is like a different person from the person I was courting. Mm -hmm. That does happen in situations like that. You know, yeah. people try people try to because I, I finally want to get married. So I put my best foot forward. Maybe that three months or six months. Yeah. People can feign some kind of, mm. you know, character, yeah. a flaw. They can, they can cover it all in that bid to kind of, to, you know, to get it through. Yeah. In such a situation, what yes. would you so, advise? So there are ways to uncover, you know, those kind of things. Number mm. one is to, that's why the period of dating, like they would say, is a period of interviewing. So you need to ask a lot of questions. Uncomfortable questions. Uncomfortable questions. Those questions will elicit certain responses. You will hear some, you say, hmm, mm. okay, and then you will probe further. Mm. You ask a lot of questions. You will create scenarios. Mm. Okay, what if this happens and that happens? What would you do? What would be your advice? Okay, oh, I, have, I have somebody, a friend of mine, who is going through a situation like this. What would, you, what would be your advice for such a person? You know, America, maybe let me give you an idea for a book. You can write a book of possible questions to ask before marriage. <laughs> exactly. <that. Those laughs> scenarios yeah. that you can create, it would definitely exactly. be helpful. Thank yeah. you very much, America. It was Thank a pleasure talking to you this morning. All right, All right that's it uh, on Relationship this morning. We'll take a time out now. Stay with us. The show will be back after this.